Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's event. Uh, today's event, we are talking about donations, specifically where to make corrections. So in donations, you can make corrections in posted batches, or you can make corrections in browse. The type of corrections you make and how you make them is going to depend on what you're fixing as to what screen you go into. So I want to walk you guys through that today. It's going to be a pretty short event, not overly complicated. All right, let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to pull up donations. <clears throat> now, there, like I said, there are two places that changes can be made to posted donations. Those two, those two places up here at the top include browse and posted batches. Now, depending on what needs changed will dictate whether you go into posted batches or you go into browse to make the change, okay? Posted batches. This shows you every date or every batch that you've posted giving, right? It also shows you the batch code if you used a batch code, the total, and then it'll show you the breakdown of cash, check, and the total number of entries included within that batch. If you need to make a change to the batch as a whole, so something about the batch in its entirety needs changed, you would do that in this posted batches screen. Okay. If you have changes that you need to make to individual donations, so not to the batch as a whole, but to specific items within the batch, that has to be done in browse. And I will show you that here shortly. But let's say, for example, this batch here from January 1st, let's say it should actually be for January 2nd. So all of these entries in here, this $15,525, all of these gifts should have been posted for January 2nd. You can hit the plus sign here and it will show you the details of the batch itself, but you can't change the specific transactions in here. You could only change the batch as a whole. So I'm going to highlight this line item for the batch, and I'm going to come down here to the bottom, and I have two options. I can reverse it. So let's say this batch is just plain wrong and it needs to go. If that's the case, highlight this, hit reverse, and it will reverse all four of these entries within just a couple clicks. But to make a change or a correction to the batch, with it highlighted, I'm going to hit the correct batch button. And that is going to allow me to do one of two things, or both for that matter. I can change the batch date occurred. So simply click in here and change my January 1st to my January 2nd date. But I can also assign a batch code. Let's say I forgot to add my batch code to this. So I can change either the batch code, the batch date occurred, or both, All right? So I can say save, or if I'm using the accounting module and I want to make this correction and send the transfer, the adjustment over to accounting, I can do OK and transfer. I'm going to click OK for now. It's going to reverse my batch for the wrong date, and then it's going to re-enter it for the corrected date with my corrected batch code. All right, so remember, posted batches, that's where you go to make the change to the batch as a whole, and that includes reversing, correcting the date, or correcting the batch code, okay? Now, difference being, let's talk about browse. Up here on the top left, I'm gonna click browse. Browse is where you go to make changes to individual transactions, okay? So if you have one transaction within a batch that has a mistake on it, or one transaction within the batch that needs a correction done to it, or just reversed, if it's just plain wrong and you wanna get rid of it, that has to be done here in Browse Donations. The Browse Donation screen is organized by giver. So if you're going in to make a correction, you need to know who that giver is that you need to make the correction on. Okay, if you're unsure who the giver is specifically, you can come in here and use this change dates filter sort button. And this will allow you to search on these specific items to help you come in here and figure out where, where the transaction is to make the change, okay? 
But once you find who you need to make the change for, you're going to find them and make sure you expand the plus sign next to their name. So if you're just looking at this line for Scott, it's going to give you his giver number, his name, and the total amount of giving within this time frame, which is always going to default to the current year. To make a correction, though, you need to double click or hit the plus sign, and that allows you to actually see the specific transactions or the specific donations that this person has made. Okay. So if we need to make a change to this transaction, simply click to highlight it. See how the correct button is lit up? If I highlight the totality line here for Scott, it's not lit up. So we have to be on the transaction itself, and then I'm going to hit the correct button. Now, within this correct donation window, I can change the date. I can put in a batch code. I can change the giver. Say this donation was really for Jane. I could choose that. I can adjust the mount. You can really change everything and anything that you need about this transaction in the correct screen. Okay. So I can change my giving accounts, my payment method. All of that can be changed right here. Once you have it corrected, you can come down here and hit Save Donation, or if you need this correction to go over to Accounting, down here at the lower right, you can do Save and Transfer. I'm going to just hit Save for now, and it's going to reverse that original transaction, just get it out of there, and then it's going to put in this new corrected transaction for me as well. Okay. So if you scan through your list of people and you hit these plus signs, you're going to see each person and all of their transactions. Now let's say we need to reverse a transaction, so it's just incorrect. Highlight the specific transaction itself. Up at the top right, instead of correct, you are going to hit reverse an NSF. We're going to reverse it for the date occurred of the original transaction. This is normally recommended unless you have a very specific reason for using a different date. I would always choose this. Feel free to put in any comments you want about why you're reversing it. You can also specify if it was reversed due to non-sufficient funds. Say OK. That would just reverse it in donations. If you're using accounting, you want to do the OK and transfer, and that will allow you to send it over to the accounting module if you want to. Permanently reverse will say yes. And now that has been reversed. Okay. A couple other filtering options here in this screen. You can check this Include Reverse Transactions button. And then anyone who's had a gift reversed off of them, you will see that change in red. So you can see here is the original transaction going in, and then here is the reversal taking that transaction out. Okay. Up here at the top, you have a giver search box. You can search for whomever you want by name or number for easy finding. Over here to the right, you do also have a print donations button. If you would like to print this screen, simply hit the print donations button, and that is going to give you the donations log report to print out. Now, commonly asked question after corrections are made, <clears throat> excuse me, people like to go back in and reprint the batch report with the updated information. If that's something you want to do, you go back into Posted Batches, highlight the batch that you're wanting to print the report on, and then down at the bottom hit Print Selected, and that will give you your donations batch report, the report you would get after posting donations, and then you could print this off, staple it with the other one if you wish, but then you have your updated report.